Maze Runner, The Death Cure is the third and final film, I can say that wholeheartedly, in the Maze Runner trilogy. Uh, of course, and stars Dylan O'Brien as Thomas. The final time around, the gang is off to, of course, rescue, I forgot the name of him, but it's the Asian boy who is also taken by Wicked to their facility where he is dissected, trying to see if he holds the cure. Which he kind of does to some extent, but I won't say anything about it for people who have not read the book or seen the movies, kind of like myself. And, of course, they launch a plan to go and get him out of Wicked's hands. And along the way, shit happens, and yeah. You know what? I gotta respect Fox. I gotta respect you for knowing when to end a book franchise okay if a book only has three movies fine make only three movies but they know how to end a trilogy they know how to wrap it up and wrap it up very very successfully and me never seen reading the books or seeing the movies up until the release of the second film which i went back and rewatched the first film this is my favorite trilogy this is in my top Favorite trilogies of all time. I love The Death Cure. I, no if ands, or buts about it. If I loved the first two, there was no reason why I was going to hate this one. And my God, I think this might be my favorite one of the whole entire franchise. To be honest with you, this movie knows comedy. It does comedy right when it needs to. It knows how to get the drama in there. And by God, it knows how to put the action in there. And this movie may get a little flack because it's two hours and 22 minutes long. Let me tell you something, that don't feel like it at all. This movie was a breeze. Maybe because I'm a friend, fan of this whole franchise, so it didn't look like it to me. But for everybody else, probably going to complain about that because it's typical of YouTubers to complain about run times when they're not really necessary to talk about. Acting in this movie is great because I got to watch these characters grow. Three year stint, it was only supposed to be two. But Dylan O'Brien got injured on sets, so Fox did the noblest thing I think I've ever heard and pushed the release date up to this year. This was supposed to come out last February, to be honest, and they pushed it up almost 11 months ahead of time just to allow him to heal. And if it's for the scene that I think it is at the very beginning of the film, hell yeah. So Fox, you're, you're fucking awesome for that. I appreciate the well good send off the death cure sends out. And I even like the villain. Hell, the villain was the villain in the Marine. The Marine. Yeah. The very first Marine. I think he was on Game of Thrones as well. Because the last time I seen a review with him in it, somebody mentioned that he was on Game of Thrones. The Death Cure. Was everything I needed. And the best part about not reading the books is not knowing the end. Who's going to live? Who's going to die? That's the best part I can take away from this entire trilogy because I didn't know anything going into these films. I was just suspecting, okay, they're in a the maze. They have to get out. Okay, they're in the desert. How are they going to survive the scorch trials? Okay, there's a possible cure out there. Who holds the key to the cure? I didn't know jack shit, and I am grateful that I did not know that, because Maze Runner, The Death Cure, will get an A+. The first A-plus of the year, the last film of January, on the February. Let me know what you guys think about The Death Cure down below. Did you like it? Did you not like it? As a movie reviewer supporting this series from the beginning people probably thought i was crazy giving these movies a's and a pluses and i think an a minus i believe for the the scorch crowds i don't give a fuck i like what i like just like you guys respect it anyway guys i will see you guys at the movies and you all have a great night